Everybody, welcome back, Falcon Xenonauts. You all know the routine by now. Let's get the game fucking going. Uh, today's gonna be a new day of recording, so I'm picking up right after the last alien base invasion that we did. So, um, things are going relatively good right now. We have a lot of the fa uh, the rapid fire magazines um finishing up right now. So we got the, I guess the research for that one done, which is good. Let's go to the research screen really quickly here. I think I'm gonna go with the Herod and analysis this time around, just because I would like to get the extra damage on them. I think that would be kind of beneficial to us, and I think it also unlocks the next um. It has a part in unlocking the next um, armor for us, which is something we do need. A in terms of the mag storm, I do want to create that, but I still want to finish up the mag the mag precision rifles first. So I'll finish that up, and then once we do that, we'll jump over to the mag storm. Part of the reason why in the Middle East I'm building a workshop and a living quarters is because I kind of want them to kind of help us out with um, building some extra items for us as well. Especially if we ever do plan to move soldiers around the bases. And speaking of soldiers, I did finally renames. Falcon finally did renames, which is something that everybody's been asking me to do. And I finally did, so all the rookies that we got have been renamed, so we have, um, Leander, we have Nom Nom, we have, I don't think, um, this guy <laughs> is any of our viewers, so I should rename this guy, I kind of, I guess I missed this dude, huh? We have, I'm done for today, he's not done for today just yet, let me tell you. We have Melting Cat, we have the Silent Gamer, uh, look, we finally have an African American on our team, I'm actually happy about that, because we've been lacking that, it's kind of like, you know, what is this, you know, not this unit, a fucking racist unit. It's like everybody in the world could join us but African Americans. I'm glad that we finally have the Silent Gamer um, representing the African American culture here. We also have Oscar. Just one name. It's kind of like Cher. We have El, no El Nubo. Is it El Nubo or El Nobo? I'm not really entirely sure. And we have Guinea as well, who's uh, looking like Total Biscuit as well. Alright, so we have those people. Welcome aboard, my friends. And, you know, once we, you know, probably spread you around a bit, we'll probably level you up little by little. Just like we've been doing with some of the new recruits. But, again, we do that part of bigger missions or at least not... Alien base invasions, but like outside missions will usually take one rookie in there just to level them up in the meantime. Alright, so right now nothing's going on, which is fine. It gives me time to finish up my research, and that's all swell and good. We have the council report happening right now. Um, I'm excited to say that we haven't lost any country just yet, although Australia, Asia is kind of like on the cusp, right? We only got 353,000. That's alright. That's understandable. I would like to get more, but you know, gotta accept what I'm getting here. There's a ship over here, which is good. I'd rather have you hang out by the Central American base. That one seems to be a lot smaller, so that's good too. Alrighty, so this guy needs to kind of um, come towards me so I could send... That's the one that worries me, the heavy fighter units only. Okay. Alrighty, game. Now we're just kind of overdoing it a little bit, huh? So that's fine. This guy's near us, so we could just probably send the Foxtrots over here to kind of end his life. No questions asked. Cruiser, how to resolve it. Oh, Jesus Christ, we lost one of our dudes. That's not good. That's not going to be good at all. We have somebody by the Soviet Union as well. That's fine. We can intercept this dude with the Corsair and the Fox Stars. I need to kind of get some Corsairs in the Middle East as well to kind of help us out. Because we're still walking the Condors over here. And the Condors have been, um, low and long for now been outdated completely. So, let me just airstrike this bad boy for now. And here comes this guy turning around, which is fine. It gives me a chance to send the uh, Foxtrots and the Marauders after it. Alright, it's UFO detected. Where is this bad boy at? Okay. Alright, you remember, we are kind of fucked in the Middle East right now. This guy is gonna be... We're gonna tail him until he's over land. There he is. Tail into overland, I said. Good. So we're gonna auto-resolve this guy over here. Oof, nice. We, did, uh, if we took no damage whatsoever. Return to base. The fuck, this guy just landed next to us. Oh, this guy's over here. Oh, this guy landed. What a piece of shit. So let me really quickly airstrike the one that we just took down right now. Oh, man. We're gonna have to. You know what? He's not gonna come up anytime soon. So, Squadron, you could return to base right now. You can engage tail with UFO. Well, you can't because he's kind of uh on the ground right now. So, return to base so you can get some fuel. And once he's back up and running, we'll send another one over there. This one over here kind of worries me a little bit. But I can't do much about it right now until he's off the floor. And again, Middle East is going to be out for a little while. I think we could probably take this dude out with the Condors, except I don't want to risk it with the Heavy Fighters kind of patrolling around right now. So that wouldn't probably be the best case scenario for me, especially because I have to go kind of far down for that to happen. This guy's up and running again. I could probably get him with the Soviet Union. Alright, here comes this dude. Now we have a chance at this guy for sure. Foxtrot Marauders go... No, not the Shrike. Go after him now. Good. Auto-resolve it. Excellent. Return to base. We will just, um, airstrike this dude down. Now, this guy over here is the one that worries me. Come on. Alright. 
It's kind of heading towards the Soviet Union now, which is perfect. Now I can send Corsairs and Foxtrots after it. Hopefully catch him before he turns the fuck around again. Nice. Auto resolve it. No big deal. Go back. Uh, airstrike him down. Again, we're just doing this just to kind of keep the um, area secure. We're not doing any missions on this by about right now. We're kind of just waiting around to get some of the research done for ourselves over here, which kind of help us out. Heavy fighters, that's fine. You know, as long as I don't have to be there, it's all good. Middle East, I hope that, you know, we're getting these guys up and running again. Yeah, we definitely need to up the uh, upper game in the Middle East. As a matter of fact, maybe once I have the workshop up and running, I might actually just go ahead and make ourselves a Corsair over here. Just to kind of, and then decommission one of the Condors. I think that actually work out a bit. We might have the funds for it too, so... Again, we have a lot of stuff to build, but... I think a Corsair is actually really important, especially in the Middle East at this point. I mean, the... More than likely, we need the Marauders, but... One step at a time, essentially. Heritage Analysis, there you go. You guys could read that if you kind of want to find out about them. I've already kind of read it before. So, I don't really have to. Plus, it doesn't really tell you too much. It just tells you a little bit about their biology and stuff like that, but no, like, quote-unquote tips on how to combat them correctly. You want the uh, Cliff Note version? They shoot from far away and they have amazing fucking, um... Accuracy. <laughs> there you go. That's the Cliff Notes version. Speaking of Cliff Notes version, how are we doing over here? Um, two more days. Nice. And then we have um, how much until this is done? Four and one. Excellent. Alrighty. And the living quarters are done. That's fine. But that doesn't really mean too much for me right now because again, what we're looking for is to get some people to work there for us. Center on UFOs. Right, right, right. Central America. You're nearby. That's good. I kind of want to take this dude out right now if we get the chance. So Marauders and Foxtrots, you do your thing right there. And then for this bad boy over here, how are we doing? Is the Middle East back up and running finally? It is. It wasn't actually down for too long. I'm happy about that. The Condor might slow me down. So I kind of regret making that decision now. But hopefully that's not the case. Uh, what is this one? Oh, the Heavy Fighters are back. Now it worries me. Significantly. So you return to base. Center on UFO. We have another one there. Okay. Shit, man. Alien activity is off the chain right now. Who says off the chain in 2014? Well, apparently a man is stuck in the early 2000s. The prime years of his life. I could, dude, come on. Please, go over land, you piece of shit. Stop being such an asshole right now. There you go. Auto-resolve it. Return to base. Return to Ace of Base with Marky Mark. You think you, you guys ever think that Marky Mark's gonna, like, you know, make a Ace of Base comeback? He should. There's a lot of money to be made right there. Alright, so here comes this guy. He seems to be heading right to us, or relatively close to us, so I might be able to get to him with the Foxtrots after all. I hope so. Don't. Don't do it. Turn around. Come on, come at me. Come at me. Don't you be a piece of shit. Tail over land. Oh, he's gonna... I'm not gonna be able to make with that guy. What do we have here? We have heavy fighters again. Yeah, I know about the heavy fighters. Come on. Ah, okay. What an asshole. That's a piece of shit right there if you ever saw one. It's a lot of shit happening around in the map right now. Alright, so let's really quickly take care of this guy. We should be able to get him with the Fox Rods rather, rather easily. Should just be a scout if I'm right. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Scout, auto resolve it. No big deal. Scouts, you know, I took care of you like, you know, fucking... The start of the series or what it was. You kind of outmatched already. Alright, this dude's all the way over here. Could we make it to this guy right now? Not without any ammo? One Marauder? I'm not sure if one Marauder alone is going to do it. He's coming right at us, though, so now that he is, I'm going to send people out because it kind of worries me significantly. Tail into overland. There he is, or so I thought. There you go, 89% chance of victory. Good job, Marauder. Marauder doesn't fuck around. He's like, yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, I got this. I airstrike this guy down. All right, so again, we're just building our fun slowly by little. Or little by little, not slowly by little. It doesn't even make any sense. Let me go after this dude. Corsairs and Foxtrots, do your things. So, I mean, I'm... Ah, uh, you escaped into space. Piece of shit. God damn it, alrighty. Heavy fighters, alright? Heavy fighters, will you stop coming in and out of the um, hemisphere already? Kind of, um... Gave me a little bit on edge here. So, relatively okay. Um, we could have taken care of a few extra of those dudes, but I'm okay with that. Uh, the mag position is done. So, really quickly, let's go into our barracks here, and where are our snipers at? Obviously, Shadow Asian's gonna need one of these guys, no questions about that. Mags, position, boom, boom, you're good to go. And you actually could carry a few more items too to kind of increase your strength in you a little bit more as well. 
I'm gonna give you another smoke grenade. I recently was reading comments and people told me how to use properly the uh, smoke grenades, which I'm thankful for. Apparently, you don't have to shroud your party in them. You're supposed to put the smoke grenade in between yourself and the aliens, so the more, I guess, tiles that the um, bullet goes through in terms of smoke, less chance that you get hit. So I've been under the XCOM, uh, I guess, train of thought here, where it's kind of like, well, if I shroud my people in smoke, that's gonna be enough, but no, that hasn't been the case. So. Uh, I mean, not that I use them too often anyway, but, you know, in case I ever do need it in a tough spot, I kind of know how to properly use it, which is always a good thing. Oh, and since that's done with, we might as well also get the Mag Storm up and running. And I'm going to drop for two of these bad boys for now. It's going to take eight days, that's cool. 320,000, yeah, you know, that's the reason why we're doing a lot of, um, knocking down a lot of airships and also doing the airstrikes just for the easy 50,000 here and there. So that'll more than likely make up for that. And the research... Did I not put anything to research after the, um, Herodin? I am a fucking piece of shit sometimes. Alright, the alien gravity generator. I think that's gonna probably be the next thing we do. And that's gonna be good only with 45 people, so that's gonna take a little significant of time to do. I'm a fucking idiot for not getting that done. Alright, so the nano workshop is done in the Middle East, which is fine. That lets me actually give me a chance to... I could now hire a few people here, and I'm gonna hire just about everybody off of this. So what does this give me? 15 people? Yeah, you know, I wish I had a little bit more, but 15 is still going to be pretty good, I would imagine. Higher engineers. Um, if I make another workshop, I'd be able to get 15 more. I have 30 people, which would be good. However, the downside in that is to get the nano shop. It's going to be 100,000 to make and then 25,000 for the upkeep. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's not. I'm not entirely too sure. It just might be if I want to have production of things going on. Well, let me see this really quickly. I wanted to get a Corsair up and running here, right? How much would it take me to get a Corsair? Oh, I don't have the war- Oh, you know what? I'm an imbecile. I don't have a storeroom. Hence, um, there is no- or I do have a storeroom, I just have no items here, huh? So what if I just transfer stuff over? That'll pretty much take care of it, right? So let's say, um, we have a lot of stuff here. So how about we do- No, no, don't sell. We are gonna transfer shit over to the Middle East, and we're gonna transfer a lot of this, because we have <laughs> way more of it than we actually need in Central America. So how about we do, like, um, 40 of this, and then I can just hold this. Good. I was going mad over here, just clicking the shit over and over. So I'm not sure how much we need, but I'm gonna do 140. I think that's a pretty good, um, even spread right there, and we'll transfer that stuff over to the Middle East. Once that is over there, we'll probably be able to get some of uh, that shit up and running. It shouldn't probably take too long. It is usually like a day to get there. Yeah, so there you go. Now we can do what we wanted to do. So let's go into the Corsair. Or at least see about building ourselves a Corsair over here. Um, that would take 300,000. That's a significant price, but it's worth it, I think. And I think we're gonna do it. And it's gonna take us, um, infinite amount of time. Oh, because we don't have the, en the engineers haven't arrived just yet. That makes total sense. So, let's hold off on that for now. But once we get the engineers up and running there, we'll be able to get that built. More than likely, I'll decommission, I'll decommission both of the Condors too, so... To kind of, um, alleviate our expenditure quite a bit. Alianti Gravity Generator. Alrighty. A simple explanation. Weigh is the for uh, weight is the force acting for an object due to gravity. This device creates a localized field that negates any gravitational pull acting on objects within the field, leaving them otherwise unaffected and their mass unchanged by reducing their weight enormously. Interesting. And that, oh, that gives us a Sentinel Battle Suit and the Hover Tank. Okay. So now we do Sentinel Battle Suit. I think that's basically the best armor, if I'm right. If I'm wrong, correct me. If I haven't figured it out by the point this video comes out. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that people have been telling me about. So that's good to know. We got the Engineers. Excellent. Now we go into... Finally, getting this Corsair up and running. Aircraft, Corsair, Interceptor, commence project. 15 engineers and take 5 days, 8 hours? I think that's actually rather, relatively adequate. So, we'll do that. And you know what? Middle East, let's um, decommission one of these bad boys right off the bat then. So, not dropships, but Interceptors, Condor, you could pretty much um, go F yourself at this point. I mean, thank you for your help in the past, but you have been significantly outmatched for quite a while now. Alrighty. So a lot of UFOs by Central America, that's okay, and then there's a few by the Soviet Union, or at least one by the Soviet Union. How do we go about this? Well, I'm thinking really quickly, we could take care of the scout right off the bat, right? So let's take care of the scout. I guess we'll just send the Marauder right there, probably easiest for that. And then I want to go after this guy, but let me see his, um, he's going upwards, so it's probably a good thing that I'm waiting. 
Auto resolve this guy, return to base, not a big deal. And we will airstrike this, 25,000. He's coming back now, and this is when we go after him. Corsair Foxtrots, do your thing. I, I don't, I'm really going to send all three of them, I'd imagine, but better safe than sorry. Auto resolve it, no big deal. Another 50,000, that's going to pretty much fuel our um, current research uh, projects. And uh, UFO seems to be going up, so we're going to go Marauder, even though the more actually the Marauder needs a little bit of uh, time here to rearm. So let's give it a little bit of time, and then we'll go after it. We might actually hit up the 150 first. Yeah, let's do that one first, since it's going to hit us up sooner than later. What is this? Another one there, okay. Auto-resolve this. Good. Alrighty, I'm not doing any of these missions, by the way, just because we already have dealt with this before. And again, I'd rather have um, my weapon recompleted before we do anything else. The Magstorm is being built. Two more days for that. So I'd rather just go into the next time we go into a mission with um, all of the proper weaponry. Rearming, rearming. Okay. That's a little bit unfortunate, so we have to kind of wait up. Is this guy... This guy's coming right at the base, isn't it? Okay, that worries me. Oh, you've got to be shitting me right now. Don't do it. Oh, I thought he was going to invade us. That was worrisome. Okay. I guess we go after 153. Seems to be a little bit closer. Yeah, let's go after 153 right now. Nope, not Shrike. I guess the Shrike just wants to go on a mission so bad. Alright, come on, catch up, catch up, catch up. There you go, auto resolve that. Return to base, we have to rearm again, but not a big deal. <laughs> Assuming, you know, we don't get another, like, possible invasion here, like I was just kind of sweating it a while ago. Alright, that one's just pretty much gone now, but he is back. Okay. So I want to go after him for sure. Turn around, turn down towards us. No, get out of there, oh, okay. Well, no chance on us now. And here's the Sentinel Battlesuit, alrighty. The S6 Sentinel Battlesuit is a combat exoskeleton designed for general combat usage. It offers less protection than our S2 Predator exoskeleton, but incorporates a personal jump unit in that is not limited by using heavy weapons. The helmet also features a unique camera system that allows us to wear 360 degree vision, so basically completely around I'll be able to see, which is really good. The Sentinel contains thousands of tiny sensors that work to detect and augment the wearer's movement, making it operate more like a second skin than a half-tone armored suit. It is capable of the same dexterity and range motion as unarmored soldiers, while it's also providing amplified strength and excellent protection. The helmet contains a full rib breather system, rendering the wearer immune to smoke and gas effects. Really? That is really fucking good. And a variety of sensors and cameras linked directly to the helmet visor, giving the wearer an unparalleled awareness of the battlefield around them. The jump suit unit does not. Does away with the miniaturized jet turbines of the buzzard and utilizes alien anti-gravity technology instead, resulting in a much more compact device that also contains the suit reactor. It should be noted that this level of precision engineering would not be possible if the Sentinel were armored as heavily as the Predator. The more primitive design still excels at soaking up damage and remains our best option for assault work, but the Sentinel is far more versatile in combat. A mixture of the two designs would be a powerful combination. Taken together, they represent the final word in the development of battle suit protection. So this is it. This is basically as far as we're going. And we got to keep in mind that the Predator suit still is the um, better one for soaking up damage, as we just read. So it's probably not the worst idea to have a little bit of mixture of both of them in there. Especially for our assault people who just use the heavy weapons regardless of which. So we might have to actually get a few of those bad boys up and running. Are we almost done with the Corsair over here? That'd be great. The moment it's done, I'll decommission the other Condor as well. So, now that that's done with... That Magstorm needs a couple of more hours, and then we'll probably get a few more other things being built here. <laughs> Primarily the Sentinel Battlesuit. Alrighty, so let's continue onward. I mean, I haven't really wanted to engage in any mission just yet, because I've been kind of um, really wanting to get most of the upgrades to us done, first and foremost. So, the Magstorm is finished now. Let's go into our soldier base here and find out what we have. Let me go into heavy weapons for major tubes. You have now going to be upgrading to the mag store, my friend. I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy about that. So bam, 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 bam. Excellent. Loving that. And uh, we're going to probably also, if assuming, where's my boy? Where's my boy, um, native at? Here he is. We could probably switch him over to a legit heavy weapons dude now as well, finally. Um, which is something that he's been kind of missing because he's been kind of like our heavy weapons guy. Recently, he's been taking up the mantle as a rifleman, but, you know, we all know what he excels at. I, I do want to build a few more extra of these weapons, though, of the mags for, like, say, um, our riflemen. 
and maybe even a few more handguns, so we'll keep that in mind altogether. So Plasma Rifle, let's have you go away. We'll just leave you as a rifleman for now, but we all know what you really are. I just don't want to do the reload again. So we'll do Mag Snorm, and we'll do Bam, Bam. 89 movement is still pretty good. You know what, I might keep this in Mad Pack on you, just in case. Or do I really need that? I think we have enough people with it though, right? Perhaps? Um, let's see, I, I could have sworn, yeah, I mean, we have, yeah, yeah, we have, like, two more people with them. Yeah, that's fine. So only two people is more than enough, I think. So, um, native, you're set to go. Excellent. Alrighty, so that's done with. Let's go back into our building stuff. Now, what do we want to build? Well, I'm thinking we probably go with the Sentinel Battle Suit, obviously. We get a few of these bad boys up and running. 67 days. Let's do, for now, we'll do probably two of them. It's going to cost us 120,000, four days. That's not too bad, honestly. Hmm. Let me do something here really quickly. Something I normally don't do too often. Let me look at the basic armors here. The wolf battle armor is what? 45, 45, 45, 0. And then the sentinel battle suit is a lot better than that one, obviously. And then the predator suit, but 60, 60, 60. Predator is 70, 70, 70. Okay. Okay, so sentinel is basically something that is going to replace more than likely the buzzer jumpsuit easily. However, it also is significantly better than the wolf battle armor. So if you don't want to rock everybody with a predator assault armor, especially since that also just limits you to heavy weapons, we should probably think about just doing a full batch of sentinel battle suits. It's going to cost a lot of money, but I think it'll be worth it. So we could probably do it at the very least. Um, for now, we'll do... Let's do... I know it seems kind of crazy, especially because of the cost, but I think eight of them would pretty much set us up in a really good prime position here. It's going to take us a lot of time to finish all eight of them, but um, well, at least we'll have that up and running. So I think that's good. It sounds like a lot. I know 480000 sounds like a lot, especially considering my funds right now, but I think it's going to be worth it if all of our people are properly equipped for future missions. And then we could just toss down the wolf armor to like the rookies, and then we could level them up in other bases accordingly as well. So I think that'll work out properly. Um, Alrighty, so Soviet Union kind of has to do it in its sight. And we kind of do here as well. Let me put this slowly. I don't want to want to make the proper decisions here. I think this guy's coming towards us, right? So if that's the case, let's send the course stairs. And Foxtrot's over there. And let's see. Heavy fighters by the Middle East. Cool. Just keep hanging out there. Doesn't really bother me too much. As long as you don't try to invade me, I'm okay with that. Okay, we're not going to catch up to this guy. Well, we are, but now we have to wait into overland or auto-resolve it. So get into overland. There you go. Auto resolve it. Excellent return to base. 50,000, which we kind of really do need right now because we're spending a lot of money. We're make, we're spending a lot of money to kind of give ourselves a better chance to succeed. This guy over here kind of worries me. So let's intercept with Marauder and Foxtrots. There he is. Let's tail into overland. Boom. Auto resolve it. Oh shit, man. We took a lot of damage for that, even though it was 100% victory. Wow. Okay, return to base. Okay. I hope we don't get like an attempt, uh, attempted um, invasion over here because we're going to be out for a little while with those guys. I got my eyes on you, 157. Don't you even try it right now, you piece of shit. Alrighty. Let's have some uh, honor among thieves over here or among aliens. The Corsair is done. Good. That makes me significantly happy. So now what we could do is tell this Condor to go fuck itself as well. And not only that, since we have extra, um, you know, um, Landing pads over here. I'm thinking we could probably even deconstruct this one. A little bit less upkeep and, you know, a little bit of money coming back to us. So that's good. Uh, Corsairs and Foxtrots. Obviously, we want some Marauders here too, but, you know, one step at a time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm liking this a lot better than it was before. Hmm. So what can we do here? I'm thinking we could probably do some... No, you know what? I'm spending a lot of money as it is, so for now, let's actually try to maximize our income by, you know, just getting stuff out of the way. 159 I kind of want to go after and I think I can go after it especially now that we have the Corsair so let's do let's do that let's send everybody over there uh, come on catch up catch up catch up tail into overland excellent auto resolve it no big deal watch out with those heavy fighters are coming right at us they're gonna intercept that's not good so we have to engage for now and then um, just escape Oh, that's enough time to get out of here? We should. Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't catch up to us. <laughs> I was relatively worried. Let me get a little coffee meanwhile here. Excellent. 
Ah. Yeah, they shouldn't catch up to us. And again, I know, people have been telling me, Falcon, do the fucking manual thing. Learn it. Learn the fucking thing. And I've just been like, you know what, I guess I can't do it. I don't want to risk it. I'm too much of an asshole and too much of a bitch to actually try learning it, so um, I'm going to just keep running away when I have to. Let me airstrike that one. Okay. So, um, I want to get rid of number 157 here. And the scout just kind of hanging out too, huh? The scout I could take out easily with only one Foxtrot, however. We're grounded for a little bit more longer time, so that's going to be the only problem there with that. Alrighty. Can we do it now? The scout. I just want to get rid of the scout first because it's right there. Nope. We can't do it just yet. We're still grounded for a little bit longer. And now they're just all gone. Alrighty. I don't feel too good about letting that just kind of go by, but okay. It happened. We are researching and building stuff though, right? I am such a fucking idiot sometimes. God damn it. So much well spent time over here. Alrighty, Valkyrie, Assault Boat, I'm thinking that's what we do next, right? Yeah, I don't really care about the tanks too much, so I say we do the Valkyrie Assault Boat so we get the next upgrade to our ships, and then, um... This one's over here done building that. I, that's all I really wanted to was the Corsair from here. I don't think I have anything else that I wanted to work on. I mean, I do have 15 people here. I mean, I guess they could work on something, maybe even the Marauder, but that's going to cost 400000 I can't really afford that right now. Um, another Corsair would be 300000 Yeah, I can't afford that right now. I'm thinking they could for us at the very least, um, let's see, get us another predatory, Predator Assault Armor? I think that would be too bad, 120,000 isn't too bad, might as well have them work on something. So you do the Predator Assault Armor for me, and then we'll just um, ship that back over to the Central American base. And then over here we have the Sentinel battle suits that are still being worked on. I'm sure a few of those have been built already by the way, so our next mission I'll probably at least equip the ones that are there. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? That is a huge ship. Massive. Yeah, you're telling me it looks pretty goddamn massive altogether. Okay. Um, that's worrisome. That could be the next level of aliens, so... I'm not too thrilled about that, as you could probably imagine. Okay. Let's keep an eye on that. This guy's over here just hovering about. He wants to do something fishy, so I'm not going to allow that to happen. Okay, this worries me, this huge fucker. What is this? A strike cruiser? Oh my lord, I haven't seen these things before. So yeah, let's auto resolve that. Oh, that's terrifying. A strike cruiser data core, two aluminiums, and six alloys. Oh, so he doesn't drop anything. I mean, he doesn't drop like an actual ship for you to like, co investigate. Alrighty. This right here worries me, though. This uh, landing ship. I think it might be the landing ship. I've heard of those before, and um, I'm. Significantly terrified. So, I'd say we go after, and thankfully our dudes are up and running again. Oh god. Uh, this thing just fucking saw me and came after me like the fucking god of war here. Oh god, that's not good. So we were able to- what? The fuck? Okay. Um, I don't think we could kill him though, right? Yeah, I don't think we have enough uh, ammo. Like, only the Marauder had ammo, and uh, at 88%, I don't wanna really want to risk it. Let's uh, get the fuck out of there. I'm not really sure what just went down right there. It was like a series of events that just went down right there. I thought that this getting intercepted us first, and that was that weird thing that we just kind of uh, met in the screen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey. Hey, get out of the screen. Oh, cool. He's not going after you, thankfully. No, don't shoot at me. I'm off the screen, goddammit. Don't you dare. Alrighty, game, that's not fair. He can't shoot me off the screen, alright? Okay, wow, okay, so that was a weird set of events that just happened right there. I I'm thinking we could probably go after this guy. Oh, no, we're still a little bit damaged, huh? That's unfortunate. Yeah, this thing was really terrifying. The dude's fast as fuck. Look at this thing, man. My lord. Can you move any faster, Speedy? It's like the Sonic the Hedgehog of um, airships over here. Alrighty. Uh, I kind of want to go after this thing, but this thing over here worries me. There's another ship over there. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm thinking we go after this guy right now. Oh, our health's still fucking low. God damn. Now he landed. Two of them landed. Not liking my chances right now? Come on, come on. This guy's just over here headed to, headed to South Africa now. 
Alright, you know what? Let's uh, try to fight this thing now. I mean, I should. I think we should be able to. Come on, just fucking fight him already. He escaped into space. Alrighty, whatever. Um, this guy should be up soon. Oh god, my health. That's fine. Give it a try. Good. Good, good, good. Striker Cruiser UFO. The Striker Cruiser is a large ground attack vessel. Though clearly a derivative of the standard cruiser UFO design, it fulfills a role more akin to that of a bomber. Despite its vast size, we believe the Striker Cruiser is still a single-seater craft or the pilot intervered somewhere in the forward area of the saucer. All non-essential uh, systems have been stripped away and replaced with extra firepower. The biggest addition being the two enormous uh, coil guns mounted on the front of the craft. A lattice of heat, heat sinks connects it to each of the wings of the craft. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever, cool. Sounds like uh, he's fun at the parties and stuff. Alright, so we'll just airstrike that really quickly. So, I know it's been a slower episode, I apologize for that, guys, but I think these are also really, I guess, intuitive to our overall well-being in the game, so we have to get these done regardless of which. I have research happening, right? I do, okay. I'm gonna be really mad at myself if that wasn't the case once again. Um, predator assaults, three of them have been completed, so we do have that much going for us at the very least. And we have the Predator Assault has been completed. Excellent. Good job. You guys are doing good work over here. So what I'm going to do is actually have you um, transfer these um, Predator Assault units, or at least the one that you built, over to Central America. And transfer that over. Thanks a lot, soldiers. Good job. Do I have you built something else meanwhile? Well, I kind of do, but at the same time, again, we're also looking at our funds here. Let's see. Hmm. So we have two Sentinels, and we're going to have eight... Actually, we're going to have eight Sentinels, and we have two Predators, so that's going to be for one squad. However, remember that we're about to get the Strike Ship, the next upgrade, so we're going to have 12 people. Meaning, we could probably even have... You know what I'm going to have this guy do, actually, is um, work on some more mag weaponry for us. So let's see if you do the... Do, like, two more mag rifles, I think we could probably use. Yeah, so do two more mag rifles for sure right now. That'll be your task for now, and then we're gonna... Holy shit. Apparently... Draw the anger over alien over here by the Middle East now. Okay. Fast dude's over here. That worries me. Okay. Alrighty, I see this guy down here too. Okay. One second, one at a time. This guy's about to turn towards us? No, he turned away. We should be able to take this guy out with, um... The Corsair and the Foxtrots, right? I'd be really quite surprised if we can't. So, if that's the case, let me just go and... Because he's going to hassle me unless I try to take him out now, right? Alright, Soviet Union, can you reach this guy? You can, assuming he doesn't go too far off from that area now. Which, this is, that's exactly what he's doing, but he's kind of going to meet us. Oh, <laughs> we got the Valkyrie Assault Boat. And this is going to take up to 12 people of them, right? So, I'm excited about that. Go to the research screen, and I guess you could do the... Might as well do the alien leader interrogation at this point. The tanks I don't really care about too much right now. Heavy weapon plasma, you know, already went beyond that. So do the alien interrogation just to proceed the story, I guess. And then, um, Sentinel Battle Assault, 8 days, 23 hours. And then over here we have 9 days for the mag rifles. I kind of want to get the strike ship um, being um, built, but I guess we're going to have to wait for that. Okay. So, transport has arrived to Central America. We caught up to this guy, auto resolve it, return to base. Air strike this thing down. This guy's just over here hovering. I can't reach him. I mean, if I even if I could, he's gonna be over land, so what's really the point in doing that? I'll tell you what the point is. No point. Let's go after this dude. Um, he's just kind of flustering me over here. It's kind of annoying. 98% chance of victory, really? That worries me. Took a lot of damage. I guess that guy does not fuck around, man. <laughs> that guy does not fuck around. Alright, this guy's over here bombing shit. You know what? I'm not really too fond of that idea. I'm just gonna let you know right now. You're gonna have to stop your shit over here. Oh. Tail into overland. That's the one that we just reached right now, right? It has to be. Oof. That was a lot of damage we just sustained there again. 
Yeah, I think we're, it's gonna. It's about time that we start looking at Marauders all around. But you know, I just barely did the like Corsairs everywhere. So man, it's gonna really cut into our cost really soon. Ugh, we've gone just about the whole month here in the Geoscape. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that, but I have. Alrighty, but that's okay because I am gonna be more than likely wrapping this episode up once I knock down one of these big land. Oh, we got the alien leader interrogation as well. We might as well read this because it's actually crucial to the story. Uh, our enemies are members of a vast stellar empire that spans several galaxies and hundreds of planets. This invasion fleet is only a tiny fraction of their military might. This empire has existed uh, for millennia, linked by ships that can travel interstellar distances in days, with no rivals to define it itself, itself against. It seemingly has no name, they believe no other interstellar civilization exists or even has. This empire is ruled by a cast of living god creatures known as the Praetors. While the lesser creatures are clones that follow orders unquestionably, these Praetors seem distinct individuals locked in an endless struggle with one another for power and influence. Low-ranking Praetors are apparently present on the largest alien craft basis, overseeing the work of their underlings directly. These creatures will surely know the true reason why the extraterrestrials have traveled to our planet, the real reason behind the invasion. We must capture one alive, at whatever cost it might be. So... Again, we have to capture another fucking alien. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool, I feel like um, some sort of fucking... I'm like Ash Ketchum of the polka of the aliens over here. So, now we need to step up here in terms of knocking one of these big ships. There's so many of these ships over here, it's really worrisome. Let me see about knocking this dude out first, though, since he's kind of like the closest threat to us. Alrighty. Tail into overland. Auto resolve it, make you go back. I just want the uh, easy 50,000 right there. This guy seems to be relatively near to us, but there is also, again, one of these wee fucking assholes that just. Uh oh. That guy disappeared over there. Okay, one second. I should be able to knock this dude out really quickly, right? So let me give me a Corsair to kind of knock out the scout. Oh my lord, really? That much damage from a scout? I should have sent the, um. Fox right after it, actually, then. I feel really foolish about that decision now. Alright, here he is. Okay, and here's this guy. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna intercept this dude right now. Marauder, Foxtrots, oh, Marauder. Really? Okay. He's almost rearmed, though. Oh, now he landed over here. Alrighty, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't do this shit to me right now. Hey, okay. you little fucking fly in the wall, I need to fuck off, man. Alright, we're gonna go after this guy right now. With only the fox trots. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. 50% chance of victory. Eww. I'm thinking no. Um. Do I do this? I'm not sure. I, I think that's a really bad idea. Ugh. I guess we'll find out next episode. This is going on enough. If I knock him out, we're gonna, we have a mission next episode. If I don't, then, you know, I'm going to come back with really terrible news about us, our unfortunate defeat out here. But here, either way, guys, we're going to call it an episode here. I feel we did it long enough. This is a long episode that's been going on pretty goddamn far, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It had a lot of Geoscape stuff, but again, we got a lot of the upgrades done importantly, which is the good stuff here. If I do knock him down, I will probably just have my people equipped and we'll just start off in the mission so we get into another mission now. So I'm sorry for the long episode. Hopefully you guys don't mind it too much, but again, it had to be done. I'll catch you guys next time.